And I'm with Paul from See Through Studios. Yep. And we're with Particulars. Hi. Hi, how are you going, buddy? Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> so, what was the concept behind Particulars exactly? Um, so, Particulars came about because at one stage I made a game that was like a crappy flash game that just started to look at what happens if you turn the fundamental forces of particle physics into mechanics. What if you were playing as a clock and you had to deal with the attraction and repulsion of everything else around you and also deal with like obviously particles and ice, particles annihilating. Yeah. Um, at some point I realized like I finished the game, left for a while, and at some point over a number of iterations of like playing with the concept, we kind of came up with some really interesting things to do with that. And yeah, the idea is how do we can we take these fundamental things, the smallest things that we have and like kind of give people a look into that world that they'd never otherwise see. Um, and a, also a very visceral feeling for that world. Yeah. So Alpha or Beta? Currently? Alpha. Alpha? Yeah. How long did Alpha take to create? Uh, we're on eight months. Also, Alpha and Beta is weird in indie space. Yeah. We're, we're doing Alpha funding models, so we can just call it Alpha until it's done. Okay. Um, but the game is playable. The first two chapters are pretty much done. Um, there's a couple more chapters that are still in development, like but people can play them right now. They're, okay. They're all doable. So people can buy it now? Yeah. And from your official website? Yep. Yeah. So see through studios.com. Oh, particularsgame.com even. Okay. Yeah. And I get it's with the humble store? Um about to be. About to be. Give us a week <laughs> or two. Because that long it takes for me to fix the website. So how has <laughs> distributing a game worked out for you? Um it's been okay. I mean we've had to learn a lot. Um, there's a lot of small things that you screw up. Over, like especially around like getting uh, getting things right on your website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited to go to Humble Store because I think that'll fix all of those problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're also working with Surprise Attack as our publishers, so now they're taking over a lot of the distribution. Yeah. And then Australian um, publishers too. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be really. I have maybe operation for. Um, so Surprise Attack has been as a marketing company has been around for a while, like a year or two. Um, but Surprise Attack Games, which is their publishing branch, yeah. they're essentially we announced. They announced in July, just before PAX, and that's when we came on board as well. Nice. Uh, PAX Melbourne, correct? Yeah, PAX Australia. Yeah. Any other games in Pipeline? Um, or just particulars? No, we're actually starting, about to start prototyping another game, um, while particulars kind of goes into the final phases. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't have much to say about that just yet. Um, as expected. Uh, I could probably say Ecological Tower Defense. That sounds interesting. Yeah, we think so too. We're not quite sure where, we have ideas of where that goes, but yeah, it's still being worked out. Um, and yeah. you think this was a green light, correct? Yeah, so we're on green light. We just hit uh, going to the top 100. So we're really excited, but really, so we're you're, also- you're hoping Valve will- Yeah, <laughs> we're really excited, but we're also really aware that like this could take a lot longer. What annoys me about Greenlight at the moment is not, I don't mind doing that marketing because you have to do it anyway, right? Yeah. That's like your job. But it splits our like, call to action. Like if, if we're asking someone to do something, I'd rather ask them to buy the game yeah. than or get, like join our Facebook or sign up to our mail list or something that keeps them in contact with them rather than try to push them to press the button. Yeah. Um, and it kind of splits that focus and it just makes it kind of harder. Um, that's the thing that's been most kind of annoying for us. Yeah. Um, it just makes it harder to have a consistent and clear marketing message. Yes. Expected launch date for particulars, what do you reckon? Q1. Q1. 2014. I, I keep Subject it in quarters. Change. I keep it in quarters. I'm pretty sure we're going with Q1. Okay. Uh, we, were, we were hoping for Q4, but it didn't quite. There's a couple of things we wanted to add. So a few months polish. Yeah, that. and also we're adding in an in-game in encyclopedia that are like, from within the game, you can like click on particles and find out more about them, and then link to other resources. Yeah. So um, I really like. I feel like people playing the game will get interested in this world, and I want to give them the ability to then explore it. Yeah. More. And this has been made with Unity. Yes. Unity, Unity Four. Yes. And how's it worked out for you? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, we've we pretty much made a decision to go with Unity for everything. It means that we can essentially build up our skill set over a number of games. Uh, rather than having to keep chopping and changing. Yeah. And that's been really good for us. Obviously, it also means that we get cross-platform across everything. Yeah. Um, obviously, with things like iOS, you get some performance like 
you have to work hard at more performance yeah. with Unity, but we also don't have to make our own engine, so that's yeah. awesome. But then of course you've got the Android market and then there's fragmentation across screen sizes and But well, that's a problem no matter what, right? Yeah. Unity kind of helps with that rather than Unity. Okay. Aesthetically, it looks absolutely brilliant. Thanks. It's fun to play. Yeah. I prefer the control to the iPad version. I reckon the iPad version a bit more tweaking to go. Yeah. There's definitely more tweaking to go. We've just this is the first time we've shown it ever. Nice. Um, you'll notice that there's more visual stuff in the PC version. Yes. We strip some stuff out. Uh, we we're not quite at performance the performance capabilities that we need yet. So we're doing iPad 3, because as far as I know, that's the slowest. The slowest, okay. uh, Apart from the one, which we're not going to deal with. <laughs> um, iPad 2 is important, but because it doesn't have as many pixels, it's not as... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, processing power is also an issue. And Definitely, yeah. yeah. Anyway, Paul, thank you very much for your time. Oh, yeah, Have anything goes off particulars? Yeah. Quarter one. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Have a good day, buddy. You too.